here I am again. It, as y'all saw there, I just posted a photo of a big bass I caught here a minute ago on a uh, bucktail jig, and man, it was it was exciting. And after that fish, I was fishing on down the bank there, and it really got me to thinking about something, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it and my feelings about it. And before I even start, I I want you to know I am not a hater of the technology. I, I've always been a guy that looked for the the edges that I could get and the things that would help me become a better competitor. So uh, don't take this video as that, but it really got me to thinking about fishing and what fishing has been to me. And uh, as I was fishing that jig, when I caught that big bass, I was coming through an old lay down and uh, man, I was feeling each limb along. And in my mind, I was envisioning that jig moving through that tree and down the bottom through the limbs. and just thinking about every second of that cast and, and the intensity in my mind until I come to what I felt like was the very last limb of that tree and I come up over that limb and I let that jig begin to fall and I felt the, just the slightest nudge and I set the hook. Yeah, at that point, I, I knew a bass had picked that bait up. He was right where he should have been. He was right as exactly in my mind how I felt like it was going to happen and he grabbed it and I caught it and landed it and it was a beautiful fish kind of made my day but uh, don't lose sight of that with the new live scope and live view and all the technology and don't take me wrong I'm not a hater but don't lose sight of the magic that happens when you make a cast and you, you look out into the water and you don't know what's going on there but in your mind you're thinking about it and the line and the bait is transferring back to you and your your imagination is telling you what's going on there and you feel that bait moving along and your anticipation of that cast whether it's a spinner bait that's coming down beside a log you don't know if there's a bass there or not but in your heart you're going there's a bass right there and you're you're bringing that bait right by there and you see that blade just barely fluttering under the water and about that time that boil comes and your heart races and you catch that fish. The same way with a crankbait that you bump off a rock and uh, you feel it deflect off that rock, you lose it for a second and then about that time one gets on there. Don't lose sight of that with the live scope. You know, it, it's easy to kind of take away from the, the, the magic in my opinion of the anticipation of the bite, the, the joy of just, you know, I was just fishing through a bunch of laydowns and, you know, that was the 10th one I threw in, but every one of them, I was anticipating a strike and then was able to catch that big fish and it, it made my entire day. So just my encouragement, teach your kids, teach everyone, you know, that enjoy the strike, enjoy the cast, enjoy everything about it. The, the perfect cast, the, the, the perfect retrieve, the cast after cast, the, the repetition that it takes to get that bite, and then the magic of not knowing until he's on there. Uh, boy, there's something to that. It's kept me addicted to this sport. I've had that happen many a times. Every time it happens, my heart just races. So I encourage you, again, if you ain't out here this weekend, you need to get out here. It's beautiful. So hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to stay off of here.